Action. Watch collecting, like collecting so many other things, sadly, regrettably, is often a compromise. Sometimes, to defend originality, you accept a compromise in condition, because there's patina, stains, scratches. Sometimes, you have to sacrifice a lavish dial design in order to get a complication in a watch. I sincerely couldn't find any compromise in this watch. Because that watch is not just one, two, three, four, five home runs in one watch. I can even think of a sixth and a seventh one. I'm presenting you a Vacheron Constantine chronograph from 1947. Name, tick. In stainless steel, tick. Two-tone rose dial, Wow. Pulsation scale. Amazing. In probably close to mint and unrestored condition. To have so many traits in one single watch by one of the greatest Geneva makers deserves a standing ovation. The reference 4178 that was introduced in the late 30s was Vacheron's bestseller for nearly a quarter of a century, made in stainless steel, stainless steel in gold, yellow gold, pink gold, a variety of dial versions, and came even with two different calibers over the decades. This one is powered by a caliber 434, a value-based uh, caliber, and when you look at the overall finish, it's hard to think of another watch from the period that is so elaborate, so baroque even, with those extraordinary outward going uh, lux. A close zoom is definitely necessary to appreciate the satin finish here. You've got a vertical stripe finish on the lux, but a horizontal finish on the bombe sides of the watch. And the crown, the winding crown, is even satin finished, but this time in a circular manner. I really don't think that I have seen a more attractive, more captivating, yet more humble and discreet and elegant chronograph wristwatch for many, many seasons. Mm -hmm.